Okay, so today's quick job. Before I get on to today's quick job, um, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's subscribed to the channel. We've recently hit, or I've recently hit 5,000 subscribers, which is amazing. And again, like I said in the last video, thank you so much for the support over the last few months. I think it's been it's May or June we did the first video and we got some stuff out and I said to you guys, I'm just going to put stuff out, try and keep it a little bit entertaining, try and keep it a little bit educational in the sense that it's not necessarily a training video, but it could be helpful to you in some way. And that's that, that's basically how I want to continue this channel uh, going forward into the new year now. Uh, just touching on other new technologies, especially the EV points and stuff like that, which I do want to get involved in. Also keeping it a bit true to uh, what I do, the ICRs, that kind of stuff. I guess you could call some of it house bashing, but, you know, projects, refurbs and uh, stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, before we, um, I just wanted to say that before we get into, into today's video and I'll just tell you what I'm about to do. Uh, so thank you very much for subscribing over the last few months and uh, yeah. Let's keep up, let me keep up the good work for you, okay? So today's job, pretty simple. Um, simple, uh, nothing simple, is it? So these light switches, this one is doing the landing and the hallway. But it's, well, it's not doing the landing and the bathroom, actually. This one is doing this bedroom and this bedroom. Now they've put a wall up to divide the bedroom up. And basically there's no sockets at all in that room so I'm going to have to install a couple of sockets in there. And obviously the light switches, uh, well, it's all off, by the way. All this power's off. As you see me rambling over it and stuff like that. It looks a bit dodgy, but all the power's off. Basically, this light switch. So obviously I need to split this up in the ceiling. And we're going to put a light switch in this room up and over. And we're going to put a light switch in this room. And uh, obviously um, there's a whole load of other nonsense to deal with as well. There are also some other little jobs to do uh, involving these sockets here. They've been just pulled off because there's some, some damp treatment going on. Uh, so yeah, I've got that socket to deal with over there. Um, that to change. When I say deal with, I mean change to white. This thing over here, which is um, spurring into the conservatory, is going on a fuse connection unit to bring it down to 13 amps. Uh, screw back to the wall, obviously, and then obviously before... Uh, well, after the damp people have dealt with all that, we'll we'll um, we'll go ahead and second fix it all. Um, right now it's that time of the day again. Hunt the kettle. It's here he is, and we've even got a bit of coffee as well. And oh, ah, ah, some biscuits to go. You will open. <whistles> Wouldn't you know, the first thing to happen when I turn the power off, the alarm starts screaming. I'm going to go up there and attack it. Shut up. So one of the first jobs I'm going to do is put the light switch here in this room with no sockets in, which is basically about bedroom. Uh, and that is just going to get chased up the wall. I've drilled a hole, you can see there, and I'm just fishing through into the loft area. And I will make the, uh, we'll pull up the old light switch cable, make a connection up there in a maintenance free box, extend the cable down, and that's where the light switch will go. So that's, that's a pretty simple job to get on with for the, for the kickoff. So we're in the loft now, which is basically in the area just directly above these two bedrooms. You can see the fish rod is pushed through. It's come under the floor there and it's uh, through the insulation up through the hole that we pull, that we drilled through in the, in the bedroom there. And I'm just going to attach a cable to the end of this, pull it up and make a connection in the ceiling here. 
to attach the cable basically just i just strip all i did was strip out the uh the the brown and the blue keep the cpc conductor intact wrap it around the little loop that you get on the end of the fish hook um that's going to be that's that'll be more than adequate enough to pull through that hole because there's not much resistance there's only a little bit of wool up there so yeah let's get up there and start pulling wires Sometimes it needs a little persuasion. Right, so that's that one rooted now. Um, we'll connect that up there. Sinker box in, and that's it. So I'm just perched here on the side of the loft hatch here on the ladders and uh, you can see the, the cables coming up through the original door casing or however they come up down there you can see they come up through the wall through the casing that's what they used to kind of do in um, cable routes so this cable here that's going to one bedroom and I've fished up the other ones for the other bedroom and I've got a, a gang of cables here so we can pr pretty much work out what's what here based on what um, what's down below so you've got three 1.5 mil cables and they're going to be so you got your bedroom light switch your bedroom light switch bathroom and landing landing has two on it as it's um it's a two-way light switch so it's got two cables running to it and for the configuration of a two-way light they often have two cables going towards it so and also there's um there's a 2.5 mil cable there that's still live so We'll turn that power off and um, actually make sure all the power's off now before we go digging around in there. I've exposed all the nonsense now. I'm in the front bedroom and that's where they were going upstairs. Just over there, you can see in the plaster, they'd had some form of capping of some kind, some tin, piece of tin used to cap them back or hold them back. And then obviously they were pushed down the door there. So I'm going to pull these light switches up and... Um, well, pull the rest of them up as well, really, and move the move the switch for the landing in the uh, the bathroom. And um, yeah, someone can come on and fix this mess. So you can see I fished up both sides of the cables now. So that's that's the one I fished up, and this is the one this is the one that was existing that was going down the hole there, and it's the same for the other side. Basically, I fished up one for the new light position, new light switch position, and the existing one. I will cut them down, make them nice and uh, connections nice and neat. Speaking of connections, this is another chance to use the inshore box from Ideal. Uh, I'm going to use one each here, one this side, one this side, uh, maintenance free again, so it can be um, the floor can go back down over it, and everything will be made nice, tight, and safe again without the need of any kind of screws or maintenance. Um, so obviously we'll be using these, in this situation we'll be using these, I don't know, reds, two ways, whatever you want to call them, pushing connectors. And um, yeah, I'll screw some to the side here, show you how I made it off. And uh, yeah, I just think it's a perfect, perfect opportunity to um, go ahead and, and use them again. And we make it all nice and tidy as well. All right, so obviously these are switch wires. So we've got a permanent live, we've got a switch live there. So when the switch is switched on, this wire becomes live. Uh, we've got old colors, red and black. So I'm gonna sleeve both the black and the blue with some brown sleeving, just to identify it. Should someone come up here way down in the future, down, down the line or whatever, start popping boards up and stuff like that. It just, uh, I mean, to me, it's completely obvious. If you're the kind of person that's going to open boards up and open uh, maintenance-free boxes up and have a look what's in there, then I suspect you should already know a little bit of basics, a little bit of electricity and electrical uh, outgoings and stuff like that, of what's going to be switched live and what's going to be labelled and marked as what colour. So, common sense, but hey, uh, you can't protect against, uh, as you say, stupidity or whatever, so... As long as stupid knows that brown can become live, then we're pretty much covered there. Get all these 
connected together and we'll speed this a little bit back up. So you can see what's happening inside there guys basically two cables coming in and we're just extending one so it's uh, brown to red cpc to cpc and blue to black which are both obviously switch lives so they're labeled up in brown sleeving uh, again it's screwed to the the joist and it's just gonna close like that and that's it all ready and done got one more to do up here and then we'll jump back down have a look at the landing light switch. Just show you guys one last thing to make them completely maintenance free. Proper cable tie at the bottom of the box. Obviously they're going to be secured and stuff. You can get them all cable clipped back to the joist and everything. But proper cable clip, a uh, cable tie, sorry, round the box and that's it. That's it secured and it's not going to open accidentally or any nonsense is going to happen getting inside there. Now there's one other thing. I'll just move this light out of the way. Or maybe I'll leave it in the way. There you go better one other thing i am going to do is just write on there uh what what basically what everything is doing so this in this case it's the front bedroom and it's the light switch that's basically as basic understandable English as you can read and uh, for what it is I'm going to go ahead and write the date on it 30th of November wow 1st of December tomorrow Christmas is coming guys where's the year gone my god and then obviously this this one is just back bedroom same thing basically back bedroom light switch I could mess around here and write a different date and they'll, that'll confuse people in the future but we won't do that right so basically uh, front and back bedroom light switch extended the cables that's how I've done it I've used the um, I've used the inshore ideal inshore boxes uh, yeah pretty much uh, pretty much there now with these switches renders a bedroom wall an inch deep. Oh well, last bit to go. So we've got the switch wire running now, no problem. Just dropping in straight through there clipped direct to the brickwork there you can see no problem whatsoever put a bit of the old fire cement on the top there just to stop a bit more coming in because I, I am going to live these up and also in this room a bit up there not going to bother too much for capping just hope for the best with some uh, some common sense from people i'm just done with the sockets now and then um that's pretty much it for this job first fix these and get out of here before it gets too dark. So we've dealt with the landing switch now and we've done with the uh, two bedroom switches. So this is just basically a temporary thing for uh, for the moment, just to get the, the lights on. I'm gonna put, put a cover over it, get some cling film out. And uh, obviously that'll get changed, that old brass ropey stuff. Um, as you can imagine that'll get changed in the end, but along with the bulb. Um, now yeah, sockets are in tied up I've just got this last one to fish up through here with the old uh, get the grunt in same with this one switched up and moved uh, non-existent capping going on in the ceiling terminated in the loft and uh, that's that's the job guys 
And like I said, this is uh, just going to put a grommet in this and feed this bit of cable up through now. Just thought I'd show you the different grommets we've got available. So, have you seen these ones before? Are they are they quite normal? So, that is what I would normally I'd class as a normal twenty mil grommet, and I'll just kind of pop in there, nice and fine. And then there's this one. It's got like a you can see it's got like a bigger flange on one side. I've just got a hundred of these to use up along with two hundred of them, so there's a slight difference, but I guess they do the same thing. Yeah, just thought I'd mention it. All right, that's the electrics pretty much done here. First fix ready for plastering. That'll be happening later on next week at some point, I'm not too sure. I have obviously this to second fix, an EICR to do here and a board change and some other bits and pieces for updating before the tenant moves in. Um, thank you again for a big thank you for the 5,000 subscribers. That's amazing, guys. And thank you again just for watching this video. If you like this kind of stuff and you haven't already done so, don't forget to click the subscribe button floating around here somewhere. Uh, it's free. doesn't cost anything. I'm going to put this kind of stuff up once a week, once every 10 days, something like that. I uh, won't keep it too specific. But yeah, thanks again, guys. Don't forget to comment and like.